Hey, what is up? It is John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I am bringing you another, yet another book review, catching up on some of the books that I've read. I've been a little bit slower lately, but hey, I'm still, still reading a lot of books. But I read this book, I actually read a book instead of listening on, on the Kindle, I mean, listening on Audible, which some of you are like, oh, it's not really reading a book. Eh, bullshit. All right, but <laughs> let's not get into that. Let, let's talk about this book. So the book that I'm, I'm talking about is called a book, is called Stumbling on Happiness, okay? And this was a really interesting book. It was highly recommended. I've seen a lot of good reviews for it. It's been on my list for a while. It's not about happiness. Surprise, I thought it was gonna be about happiness. I thought, you know, that, that's good. It's about my one of my favorite and least favorite topics, which is pop psychology or, you know, social sciences, social psychology. It's it's an interesting book. So here's, here's what I'll say about it. I, this is so hard because I could go on about this for, for quite some time and maybe there's some other videos in here, but the book has a lot of social studies, a lot of, you know, psychology, social psychology studies, which I've, I've seen a lot of them, you know, I, you hear about them from all kinds of books and, and people can interpret data as they want. But, but the, what the book essentially says is, is this, it says that we're not good at predicting our future. We're not good at predicting what things will make us happy. Our memories are fallible. We, we're, we're not so good at, at remembering things. Our memories, we, we sometimes construct our memories from, from things. Our, our memories also leave things out. They, they tend to, to gravitate towards remembering certain things, you know, the, the, the short version of the story, not all the details all the time. And, and also that we, we just, we have a really bad sense of imagining things that are intangible, right? There's a lot of cognitive biases that we have that really make it so we can't trust ourselves, especially when it comes to happiness. That's, that's essentially what the book is saying. And it's interesting because there's a lot of studies to back this up, right? But like I said, studies can be interpreted right in a lot of different ways, especially to, to back up some data that, that, that you're saying. Now, at, at a base level, do I agree with with the the author of the book, what he said, and and what these studies point to, and, and these these points about our memory and our prediction of happiness and all this, yeah, yeah, at a base level, I do. Okay, and do I think this is valuable and useful stuff to know? Yes, for a couple of reasons. One, because it will help you in dealing with people, because most people are like this. And two, because it will help you in dealing with yourself, because you are probably like this. But here's here's where me and the author, or the author and myself would differ and probably part ways. I would believe, the, the book conveys the idea that this is permanent, that this is how people are, this is how you are, this is how your judgment is, it's fucked up, you suck at, at imagining things, and you suck at self-control, and you suck at all these things, and you, you can't get better, and you just gotta figure out ways to, to work around these biases that you have. Whereas I see these things as flaws in your self, uh, self perception, in your, your ability to, be, be, to operate at a higher level of consciousness. I, I see this as a, a window into the things that, that you're doing wrong, that you don't even realize that you're doing, but once you understand these things and you work to actively overcome them, you can, right? So a lot of the things that the author talked about that, that a lot of people do in these, these studies, I know I've overcome these for myself, right? A lot of them about making choices about the future. One of the things that I do in very, uh, very religiously now that, that it's just, it's automatic for me that, that tripped up a lot of people is that I think things really far ahead and I really think about what it will be like to be in that situation and I have a pretty good estimation of these things, right? I, I, I've done a video, I think I did a video about being a finisher I know I've done a blog post, so we'll put one of those up, but I, I don't start things that I'm not gonna finish. I, I follow through on those things, and I really think ahead, and I've been able to been able to overcome a lot of these cognitive biases. I'm not saying that I don't have any, of course I do, right? And of course I still, uh, in some way, uh, being a human being, having a brain wired the way that it is, uh, are susceptible to all of the things in the book. So. So the book is useful, okay? It's useful just to understand that, and I think for the most part, it, it does make a lot of sense, but there are some things that, there's some things I would flat out disagree with, that, that this study doesn't really show that or, or prove that, or, you know, it's, it's not, 
it's 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 cherry picked data, okay? And that's that's going to happen with anything that pop psychology. You, you got to realize that's going to happen, okay? But but there are a lot of truths in it. But again, I would say this: don't use this book, don't read this book, and think of these as limitations. Think of these as flaws that you can actually work on and improve once you're aware of them. That's that's the thing. That's the value of a book like this. Even though you know it grinds me the wrong way in a lot of the chapters, a lot of the things, because I'm like, oh, you know, oh, this is not this is not true. This is not a limitation. Uh, with that said, I will say one other really good thing about this book. The author is funny. He is entertaining. He is hilarious. It is a it is a very good read. He he really adds some elements of humor into the book to make it entertaining. He's got some good stories. It's well written. I can't say en enough good things about the author and the way that he presents the material. I just might disagree with him about what is the, the limitations of, of a human being. So there you have it. That is the book. It is called Stumbling on Happiness. Will I recommend it? Yeah, I'm definitely going to recommend it. Even, even if I don't agree with 100% of it, even if I think that a lot of these cognitive biases can be overcome, it's still a good book. Like I said, for, for if, if even if you just read it for the reason of if you're doing some sales and marketing and understanding how people operate, that is, is a good reason. Just understanding in general how people operate is really good. Like I said, I could go on forever talking about why a lot of these social science experiments and stuff, they don't make sense because they're, they're, they're basically summarizing data. Whereas what, what I care about, see this is where, you know, this is one thing I'll just, I'll say this real quick, which is what I care about, what I focus on in this channel, what, the reason why I don't believe all the shit that that we're supposed to believe is because I focus on the outliers. I focus on the the people who are doing exceptional things and I say, well, if they can do something exceptional, what is it that's making them exceptional and how can I emulate that? I don't want, I don't care about the law of averages. I don't care what people generally do. I wanna know the outliers. I wanna know the people that that didn't do the expected result on the psychological test and what happened there and what was going on and how can we be more like those people to be a little bit more self-aware and to actually have more control over our lives rather than just accepting the default. All right, that's it. That's all I gotta say about that. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and click the bell if you wanna make sure that you don't miss a video and I, I'm sure that you don't. All right, talk to you next time, take care.